Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Breakfast Television. This will be a very tough day for staff and students at Abbotsford Senior Secondary. The school is open today and for the first time since the horrific stabbing of two students last week. Andrea McPherson is live just outside the school for us this morning with more. Good morning, Andrea. Oh, good morning, Greg. We're outside Abbotsford Senior Secondary, where today is all about healing for the staff and students as they enter the building for the first time since that lockdown happened back on Tuesday. The building will be open for a half day of classes as students sort of ease back into the swing of things. Over the weekend, some community forums were held to address safety and security concerns, as well as provide emotional support for the students that are still mourning the death of their 13 year old classmate and concerned for the well-being of their 14 year old classmate still recovering in hospital. Now uh, there are some students that are uh, showing up to the building uh, ahead of their uh, classes uh, scheduled to start uh, later on today. They say they are feeling a little bit of anxiety this morning. I don't really feel like 100% safe but you know just make me feel a bit more comfortable but you know the threat is still there but then again the threat is like everywhere so I guess we're still in the morning I guess because we just lost someone so I mean, a few days isn't going to take that away. So students will be beginning their day in the class that they were in before the lockdown began. That's mainly to gather their belongings. Uh, a lot of them didn't have time to do so when they were asked to exit the building. Uh, as for the accused 21-year-old Gabriel Klein, uh, he has been charged with second-degree murder and aggravated assault, and he is expected to appear via video link in court later today. Greg. It will be a tough week in that community.